Cattails are an incredibly useful wild plant that anyone interested in survival or bushcraft skills should know about. The dry stalks, leaves, and fluffy flowers are great for making friction fire. Cattails edible roots are loaded with carbohydrates. Its pollen and flowers are high in vitamins and minerals including calcium, iron, and vitamin C, and its spike when young can be cooked in a similar way to corn on the cob. Another edible part of the cattail is the tender hearts of the stalk that can be found growing at the base of a young cattail plant. These tender shoots are very mild in flavor and can be eaten raw, added to a stir fry, or made into pickles. In this video, we'll show you how to harvest and can cattail pickle hearts. Before we get started, we first need to talk about proper identification when harvesting wild food. There is a close look-alike that grows with cattails known as the yellow flag iris, which can be toxic. The leaves of the yellow flag iris are flatter and more lens-shaped in their cross-section, where the cattail is more round or oval-shaped. Whenever you're out foraging for cattails as a wild food, make sure you're not accidentally harvesting the toxic yellow flag iris. The tender shoots of the cattail heart should be harvested while the plant is young before the main stalk has begun to form. The least efficient way to harvest cattail shoots is to pull the plant up from the roots and strip away the outer leaves. A quicker and much more effective way is to firmly pull the upper leaves of the plant. This way you can collect a large amount of the tender cattail shoots with very little effort. Once you have collected enough cattail hearts to make a batch of pickles, strip away the outer leaves so that you are left with the softest and most tender parts of the shoot. Cut the cattail hearts to a uniform length and place as many as you can in a jar. By packing them tightly, you can prevent them from floating out when you pour in your brine. The next step is to add your favorite blend of pickling spices. For the jars with the longer cattail shoots, I'm using a standard pickling mix but for two jars with the shorter odds and ends, I'm gonna make a spicy pickle mix by using the Trinidad Scorpion peppers that I grew in my garden last year. This variety of pepper is the second hottest in the world. The next step is to make your brine on the stove. This brine consists of three cups of water, two and three quarters cup of vinegar, and one quarter cup of non-iodized salt. Stir the heated brine until the salt is completely dissolved and then add the brine to your jars of cattail pickles. The next step is to wipe away any debris from the rim of your canning jar and then secure a sanitized canning lid using a ring. You are then ready to place your jars of cattail pickles in a water bath of boiling water, making sure the water level is at least one inch above the tops of the jars. After 15 minutes in the boiling water, remove the jars from the pot and place them on a board to cool. After a while, you'll hear a popping noise, which indicates the seal on the jars has formed. Finally, remove the rings from the jars and wait a few weeks for the pickles to be ready for eating. So the pickles have been canned for a few weeks, so it's time to give them a taste. Mm. Smell good. They're delicious. They're a little chewy, a little fibrous, but they're really good. Got a good flavor to them. Now I'm gonna try my uh, Trinidad Scorpion, uh, second hottest pepper in the world, cattail pickles. I've uh, posted other videos on eating these peppers just whole, so hopefully it's not that hot because that's painful, but we'll give it a try and see how well uh, these pickles taste. So they're really spicy, but not not painful spicy. They're just um, mm, they bring a lot of flavor and it builds. I need another one. Not too bad. It's it's way spicier than most people would like, but brings a lot of flavor. Here's that Trinidad scorpion pepper in there. If you ate that, it would be really painful. But here's the cattail. Perfect for um, a bland meal, getting some flavor in there. It's spicy, but you can handle it. It's not too bad.